Anthony, reporting to you from the Cryptocurrency Kids. If you like money and computers, prepare to have your mind blow. Ever heard of Bitcoin? It is basically online money. This online currency is called cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency is really cool and everyone's really excited about it. And it is exciting. Tom Galway says by 2030, some form of crypto will become the global reserve currency, but it will not be based on what exists today. Existing cryptos need to transform or they will disappear. Around 2030 or so, he also says that the first Nobel Prize in economics will be awarded to a crypto economist. When you are dealing with cryptocurrency as a kid, you have to be super careful. As you might know, kids don't usually get a lot of training with money. Even if you do take a program on financial literacy, cryptocurrency is not mentioned. However, cryptocurrency is around us in our everyday lives. Take Subway for example. When you walk in to get a tasty sub, you might see this sign. Subway can take the popular cryptocurrency Bitcoin as a payment for your meal. You use an app called Coinbase to pay. The cashier pulls up the total, a cost of your meal, and a QR code that will allow you to pay. You open Coinbase on your phone, scan the QR code, and it will show you the amount of Bitcoin you have to pay. You agree to the transaction, and the cashier will get a message that the Bitcoin has been received to you. It's almost too good to be true. But how does this whole cryptocurrency thing work? Well, the key to cryptocurrency is blockchain. You might ask, well, what can blockchain do that helps so much? Well, David Z. Morris, PhD in communication, has an answer to that. That's why I'm here today to talk to you about something called a blockchain that is emerging and that will make do for our money system what the internet did for information and what the internal combustion engine did for transportation by making it more swift, cheap, widespread, granular, and direct. I already say fast, yes. <laughs> As you can see, blockchain can help in many ways. Without blockchain, cryptocurrency would not be possible. So how does cryptocurrency work? The crypto part comes from the encrypting used in the blockchain that secures the transactions. It all starts when people agree on a transaction. An example, Bob agrees to give a Bitcoin to Sally in return to $1,000. Sally agrees to give the $1,000 for a Bitcoin. So Bob puts his Bitcoin into a document and Sally puts $1,000 in the same document. Then they both sign an agreement with their own private key. This key is usually a unique string of numbers or letters. That's where a miner comes in. No, not a miner who digs for coal or gold. A computer miner is someone who goes out and verifies transaction using their personal key. Say Joe is a miner. He gets online and sees that both Sally and Bob have agreed on a transaction. So he takes his own private key and verifies the transaction. So Bob gets his $1,000 and Sally gets a Bitcoin. Then the miner takes this transaction and makes it into a block of coding. This block cannot be undone, making it almost impossible for hackers to steal money. The block then goes into a giant chain of other blocks or other transactions. That makes blockchain. Now Joe, because he helped out the cryptocurrency, will get some bitcoins because he helped verify the transaction. So basically you agree, the other person agrees, and someone verifies it. That's how cryptocurrency alert works. Let's talk about the good news first. You know there is some bad news coming. Cryptocurrencies like bitcoin can be cheaper and more secure than what we are using. Let's let the International Monetary Fund explain more about how cryptocurrency can be better than banking and the money system that we use today.
Now the bad news. Cryptocurrency values can go up and down each day. Take Bitcoin for example. In 2017, Bitcoins went from being worth $1,000 at the beginning of the year to $9,000 by November and $20,000 by December. The value of a coin can change in seconds. That's why you have to be careful. You might pay $5,000 for a Bitcoin today, but then tomorrow it's only worth $500. You have just lost $4,500 to online currency. Keep researching more before you go out and buy any cryptocurrency. Don't let the possibility of getting rich let you risk money that you need for food, housing, school, and anything you are responsible of taking care of. Keep on learning about cryptocurrency!